So today I'm going to be vlogging about fabric shopping. I have five prom dresses booked so far for prom 2022. And yesterday I sat down and I wrote down everything that I have left to buy for these dresses. The first dress, um, I have pretty much everything already. Second dress, I ordered the bodice from China. And um, it stuck somewhere. It made it to the US, but I don't know like what state it's in. The shipping has no shipping date labeled so I don't know if I'm gonna actually get that package or if I'm gonna have to get my money back and buy something else but I'm waiting to get the appliques for the top so that I can confidently purchase the fabric for the bottom and make sure that it matches um, anyways I wrote down everything that I need to buy and it came up to a grand total of over a thousand dollars I think I spent like 500 or 400 something yesterday. So I'll show you guys what things that I ordered yesterday. But today I need to go to Fabriktopia in Houston and they don't open until 10 o'clock. So I dropped my daughter off at school and then I just made my way across town and I'm probably going to find like a Starbucks. I brought my laptop and my books and stuff with me. So I'm gonna find a Starbucks to sit at, get a coffee and a breakfast sandwich and just kind of kill some time until the fabric store opens. So much better to try to condense your shopping trips for orders as much as possible so that you're not wasting a whole bunch of time. I definitely recommend like as people start making their deposits you just put the money aside so that it can be ready for when you go to the store but I don't recommend if you know you're gonna be taking a large group of orders I don't recommend um, running to the fabric store every single time you get an order unless of course like it's next door to your house or something um, but for me the fabric store I prefer to go to the most is like across town so I'm looking at time I'm looking at hours of my time I'm looking at gas cost so for me, it just makes more sense to wait until I have a solid group of people booked before I go to the fabric store. And it's funny because I'm driving past it right now, but I can't go in because they are closed. They don't open until 10. So here I'm at Starbucks. I brought my laptop and the planner that I'm using right now just to work on some administrative items before I go to the fabric store. And uh, they didn't have the breakfast sandwich I usually like to eat, which is double smoked bacon. I had to get this like bacon gouda. It was okay. It just wasn't giving, you know, all the way. But anyways. So it's almost 10.15 and I just am leaving Starbucks right now. And I'm going to head to the fabric store. I spent my time uh, in Starbucks on the computer uh, responding to inquiries. And I spent about an hour doing that. I still didn't get caught up on all the inquiries that are outstanding. 99% of them are prom inquiries, if not all of them. Um, in the last month, I've sent out like 50 quotes and I have five people that have made deposits so that says a lot about like the amount of time that you have to invest in getting you know secured actual like real life clients um i've done i think seven or eight consultations but i've only had five people actually make a deposit um there's one that I did a consultation with that I'm waiting on and I think she is going to make a deposit. But then there are a couple of other people that I haven't heard from in weeks who I'm kind of just giving up on. But fortunately, since I did you know, spend my time on doing the consultation, I have a non-refundable $50 consultation fee. I still somewhat got paid for my time. Um, I'm really trying to get to a point where I can figure out how I can um, how I can afford to hire someone to help me respond to my inquiries. So I use like a two-part system. I have a website called Paper Form, and um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but if you're in my Facebook group, I've definitely recommended it before. Uh, it's called Paper Form, and it allows people to go in and fill out an inquiry form with questions that I um, put in and they can also upload an inspiration photo um, so that I can have an idea of what they want and I can get a better uh, idea of how to price the garment. Um, and then once I get, once people respond to that inquiry form, it sends me an email and then I know to go 
check my paper form. I can either look at all the information in the email, including the pictures, or I can go to the paper form website and see all my inquiries in one place. Um, I then take said inquiry and import the customer's information into HoneyBook manually. I wish they were, um, what's it called? I wish the websites were connected so that paper form inquiries will automatically go into HoneyBook, but it does not work that way. If anyone knows of another uh, inquiry form that integrates with HoneyBook seamlessly, please let me know because I would prefer to do things that way. Um, so I input the customer's information manually and then I have templates. So I have different templates for different client situations. So if it's a local prom client that's in Houston, that I have a certain template for them. If it's a non-local prom client that I'm gonna have to ship, if it's a non-local wedding client and local wedding client, so on and so forth, um, I just send them, I just pull up the template, I input whatever price I'm quoting them and then I hit send. And then immediately after that, I send them an invoice to pay their consultation fee um and then we go from there they either and honeybook tells me when they open it so i can see when people open their invoice and from there they either pay it or they don't and like i said i've responded to like 50 people in the last month and i only have five deposits so far so it's a lot of work and i would love if i could um figure out a way to hire an assistant to help me to do that because no matter what I do the inquiries just like pile up and before I know it I have like 20 people to respond to and it's just kind of annoying to do sometimes because I know out of those 20 people I'm maybe going to get two or three responses so um, that's what I did with my morning. I just pulled up to Fabrictopia. It is 10 15 and I am about to go in and purchase all the fabrics that I can find in here. So this is the list that I made yesterday. So I need to get, um, four yards of illusion mesh. I probably don't actually need an entire four yards. I probably need somewhere like around three, but I do have a project that I wanna, a personal project that I wanna work on that I need to mesh for, so I might as well get four. Um, pink illusion mesh, cause I have a hot pink dress to make and she wants pink illusion mesh sleeves. Um, hot pink satin, I can't buy that today cause I'm waiting on the girls' uh, appliques to come from China. And I want to make sure the fabric that I get matches the appliques because I can't really replace that once I have it. Um, being that I spent like $200 on it. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to look for a dark blue glimmer knit fabric. I need six yards. No, six and a half yards of that. I need three and a half yards of yellow or gold neoprene for the base of this like blue uh, dress that I'm doing with gold feathers on the bottom. Um, two dark blue zippers, um, two and a half yards of light blue fabric for the bottom of a, a out of state prom dress that I just booked, um, a yard of light blue lining, which I actually think I have that at home, so I don't think I'm going to buy that. And then everything else, uh, oh, and silver lace appliques. I'm gonna get like 12 pairs of that. Um, so everything else, um, I'm either ordering from Etsy or Amazon. And I ordered a couple things from Etsy yesterday and I have my Amazon cart ready to go as well. Um, so the grand total for all these things was $1,144. I already spent $300 on feathers that are shipping from China. So fingers crossed on that. And, uh, I ordered, no, what else did I order? Uh, I ordered a yard of velvet from Etsy yesterday and I also ordered um, two pairs of silver rhinestone appliques from Etsy as well. So I'm going to take my handy dandy list in the store with me. And um, yeah, I'm going to go fabric shopping. I didn't record much while I was in Fabriktopia, but here are a few clips just to give you guys an idea of what all they have in the store. Um, they have a really big selection, so if you're in Houston, definitely check it out. 
Okay, so I spent an hour in Fabritopia. It's 11.17 right now. I spent $215.26. Um, I got two zippers and they were, I guess, uh, I don't know. They cost $2.98 together um, for my blue dresses. I have two blue dresses that I needed zippers for. Um, I got three and a half yards of this neoprene fabric they call it super techno and the total for that was $38.47 I think it was $10.99 a yard um but I'll have to do the math on that I got five yards of stretch tool which is really illusion mesh they just also call it stretch tool so I got four yards of the nude stretch tool or the nude illusion mesh and I got one yard of hot pink I should have waited till after I had my appliques to buy this because it was definitely the wrong shade oh and here are the zippers I just like to get regular zippers um and I got five and a half yards of this royal blue glimmer knit fabric it was 10.99 a yard so that's going to help me save a little bit because I definitely budgeted $20 a yard um so that was great I have another dress that uses a yard of that glimmer knit fabric but um it's the dress that has the gold feathers at the bottom and I remember my client saying that she wanted it to have like a gold like undertone on the blue fabric so I'm gonna order that from Etsy because it's kind of like a different shade of the glimmer knit and what else um oh and I bought 12 pair of these appliques from my own original design i had someone order um the dress that i use these for these are slightly different from the appliques that i usually use but they're still pretty they're just a slightly different shape and um they were six dollars a pair which i think i usually pay five dollars a pair um so i i did budget six dollars just in case i ended up having to order them but they were six dollars here um, so I spent $72 on this right here, $72 without the zippers, obviously $72, um, which is fine. I think Fabriktopia still has really, really good prices and they did just like upgrade their space. So to me, it, it's not like a big deal that their prices may be a little bit higher on some things but anyways that's what i spent at fabriktopia 215 dollars and 26 cents and it's 11 i think i'm gonna go home and feed my dog and then i might go to high fashion fabric to find some of the other things that are still missing from my list <laughs> <laughs> that's her excited growl Then I pulled up to High Fashion Fabrics. It's in downtown Houston, Louisiana, and Elgin. I did find that glimmer knit I was looking for. Um, and then here are just a few clips of the store. As you can see, they have a big selection as well. Sometimes their prices can be a little bit higher, but they have great quality fabric. So just keep that in mind if you plan on checking them out. So I just left High Fashion Fabrics. I spent about $51 and I found the dusty blue fabric for my client that's getting the feather dress. Um, if you like, you can tell it has kind of like a yellow like undertone to it and her feathers are gold. So that's why I ended up getting this piece from here instead of getting that uh, dark like royal blue fabric um, earlier from Fabriktopia. So I found this for, I think it was $14.99, um, which was, four dollars more expensive than fabriktopia but whatever um still a decent price because i had budgeted twenty dollars and then i got this uh neoprene fabric it was 12.99 a yard it's like a tiffany blue color um but that's what i'm gonna be attaching my tool to i really wanted a that's for the oh i actually have my binder with me so y'all can see what i'm talking about my client us getting the 
the dress that I created. She's getting this, if y'all remember, that's my, uh, the kind of green dress that I did. Um, it was my first like viral YouTube video and she's getting it in a light blue color. So I'm gonna use that neoprene for the base of the dress cause it's gonna be a lot of tool attached to it. And then my client that's getting the feather dress. Oh, that's this dress. I'm not the best artist, but these are feathers. <laughs> and that blue that I just showed y'all is going to uh, go on the hips of the dress and then there's gonna be gold feathers down here. And then up here is going to be gold appliques. And I said I was gonna wait and receive the feathers first before I go buy the appliques because I wanna make sure the color goes together well. And I'm going to probably purchase the appliques in person. Um, I saw some at Fabriktopia that I think will be cute, but I wanna have the feather in hand to go like color match it before I buy it. I forgot to also tell y'all about my hair. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it very well with the way the sun is right now, but um, I have different, I have a different wig on for the last time you guys saw me. And this is another Amazon wig. I purchased it from a vendor called Maya Cool. And I believe they have a standalone website as well under a different name. Um, so if you guys like the hair, I'm going to put the link in the description box. And FYI, I do have an Amazon Associates account. So if you guys purchase something using an Amazon link that I provide you with, I will get a smidget of it. Thanks in advance. Um, but honest review of this wig, I do really like it. It is a 20 inch straight wig. As you can see, it gets a little bit wavy. Um, I did not flat iron it today. I just had like uh, slept in a do-rag and a bonnet last night. And this is how it looks with a little simple brush out. Um, it's very soft. It has not tangled. Um, I didn't have to do a whole lot to style it. I did feel like the front up here was like, it had like a lot of volume. So it just like, originally like when I first installed it, it stood up a lot and I kind of had to work with it a bit to get it to like lay down how I wanted to, you know, wax stick, uh, hot comb, all that good stuff. Um, but for the most part, I really like it. This is probably the other black wig that I like from Amazon. Both of, both of these wigs are in my uh, associates link. Um, so there's this wig, which is the straight wig. And then there's another black wig that I like, which is a body wave wig. And then there's a blonde wig that was really good. Um, that is a straight wig as well. So, and, um, I installed it with, uh, I've had it on for like a week now. So it's getting a little bit raggedy. Um, actually today's Tuesday. It's a week, like a week and a half coming up on two weeks this weekend. I used Kiss. Uh, hair or, or wig glue to install it. I usually use bold hold, but I didn't have time to order it. I ended up going to the beauty supply and buying some, which I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it was fake because it did not hold. Um, so I had to hurry up and reinstall this wig and I used the kiss glue and I really, really liked it. I'm probably going to continue to use it because it was only $20 and it was fast and easy to use and it has held up like really well. This is me yanking on my hair after a week and a half of wear and it's not going anywhere. Now over here on the sides, it has like lifted a little bit, um, but for a beauty supply glue, pretty good. Um, anyways, yeah, that's my little tidbit about the wig. If y'all like it, the link to purchase it from Amazon will be in the description box below. Okay, I said I was going to go back and show you guys what I ordered yesterday because that is a part of my $1,100 total. So um, you can see I ordered this crystal blue velvet fabric on Etsy from Miss Nancy 48. She's a great vendor on Etsy. And that cost me $24.38 after tax and shipping. And then I ordered these silver uh, rhinestone appliques from YSBY Boutique on Etsy, um, fingers crossed, because it is coming from China, and that cost me a total of $128.82 after shipping. I ordered two pairs, and then, um, what else? 
ordered a few things from Amazon. So for one, I ordered 12 uh, transparent zippers. These go really well with Illusion Mesh. And the vendor on Amazon is called Bias Bespoke. They also have an Etsy store, but I just decided to purchase from Amazon because I already had a cart from there. I also ordered this strapless bra. Um, one of my clients has a triple D bra cup, so um, definitely want to build some support in there. And then I also ordered three bolts of baby blue tulle for uh, one of my dresses that has my poofy cloud bottom. Um, that's my original design. And then these are the feathers that I ordered from Alibaba. Someone recommended me to this vendor. I ordered 600 feathers for $192 and then I spent almost $100 or about $100 on shipping so I end up spending almost $300 but that's a pretty good price 600 feathers $300 the UPS man came right now while I was sitting in my car eating lunch and he brought my hot pink rhinestone appliques I have been waiting on these since the middle of February and I was starting to worry that they would not come but they're here and I'm so, oh my God, they're so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so I ordered six of these and I think I spent like, I think it was less than $250, but more than 200. So quite pricey, a total of six of them. And so it's gonna be like on the chest area, like so, and then yeah i just thought six was like the perfect amount two three four five, five. i mean i hope six is the perfect amount we're gonna see <laughs> if not i could um do some uh like spacers of just like plain hot pink lace but basically this is to cover like all of the uh bustier area of the dress so like the bra part and the under bust down to the waist um and so yeah, they finally got here. Okay, so I'm gonna go hit High Fashion Fabrics real quick. It's 1.19 p.m. on Friday, um, just to get some satin that matches those appliques because I wanted to wait till I had them to buy the uh, fabric for the skirt portion of the dress to make sure that I had the right color match. Um, and I know I just went to the fabric store earlier this week and I tried not to go too many times in one week, but um, tomorrow's Saturday and I definitely want to work on it uh, tomorrow night, but I don't want to go to the fabric store tomorrow. So I'm just going to do it now. This is what I found. I bought like two and a half yards of satin at High Fashion. To get my nails done, I don't know why this lady was filing her nails on top of my pedicure, but anyways... Uh, don't forget to take care of yourself. Do something to treat yourself if you can. As designers, we're always doing stuff for other people. So making that time for yourself can make all the difference in how your day goes. So this is random, but I had several people ask me what I use to take care of my skin. I don't have a specific skincare regimen or a complicated one. Um, I have, the, my skin type is fairly dry and I'm looking for suggestions so if you guys could drop in the comments below what you use on your face this is what i wash with right now just this clean and clear morning burst and then i put shea moisture uh, moisturizer on afterwards um i'm trying to figure out like what i can use to get rid of the like dark spots around my chin but if you guys have suggestions please drop them in the comments below and to the people that complimented my skin thank you and i bought this little brush at marshall's for like six dollars excuse my lace i know it's lifting on the side of my face but i've had my wig installed for two weeks so i think it lasted pretty well it's still on there fairly tight in most areas so this is how I wash my face. And this is the moisturizer I use. Okay, I just got my feathers from overseas from Alibaba. I was expecting the box to be a lot bigger than this. It's very small, um, but there's supposed to be 600 feathers in here. So let's see what we got. One, two, it looks like each package has maybe like 20. Let me open one and see how, if they like fluff out and stuff, let's see. Okay, so here is one package. Let me count how many packages there are. One, two, three, four, 
11. So there's 12 packages. 12 times 5 is 60. So are there 50 feathers in each pack? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, here's a one feather. Four, five, six, seven, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, forty-seven. What is forty-seven in here? I'm gonna count every last one of these feathers, okay? <laughs> okay, so just looking at the feathers, initial reaction. Whoops, I shouldn't put that right there. Initial reaction, they are, some, well, they're as long as I thought they would be, but they're less fluffy than I thought they would be. They are lightweight, so that's good. I'm just gonna have to like lay them out on the fabric and see how they're gonna behave. If it's gonna give, you know, the look that I'm needing for this dress that I'm doing. We'll see, we'll see. I thought I would end this vlog by getting started on a prom dress. So as you can see, I'm using the bottom of my mermaid gown pattern um, and I'm cutting out the bottom for my dress with the poofy tulle at the bottom. So instead of doing a circle skirt, I'm saving fabric. I'm only using two and a half yards of neoprene here. What I'm doing here is placing the, I'm putting the godets together. So I start off with four godets and I sew them together to end up with uh, two godets instead. And now I'm sewing the godets to the front piece and the back piece and just sewing everything together. Just using my serger. I don't really do uh, pins until I get to the end part. So as you can see, I'm pinning the big front piece to the big back piece. And then I'm gonna go ahead and serge everything together. So here you have it. I've completed my neoprene base for my tool bottom. And instead of using five, six yards of fabric, I was able to get it done with only two and a half yards, which is a big money saver. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.